G'day and greetings to you wherever you are in the world. The topic for today's video is all about changing your career. I've had a number of questions from people who have reached out to me and have said, hey, I am having to change my career at the moment, not uh, because it's something that I initially planned or wanted to do, but the way the current regulations are working out, uh, I'm finding myself in this situation. And hey, Aaron, I know you've gone through this process or are going through it, so what tips could you give me? And some people are, um, are a bit emotional about this. And so I'm in a unique position, I guess, where I actually started transitioning out of my career. I was a lawyer uh, and in 2019, right at the end of 2019, I started the process of getting out of my profession. So I've been at that through 2020. I sold my law firm and uh, the various uh, worldwide problems that erupted in 2020 caused me uh, a lot of disruption with those plans, but I got through it. And for the most of 2021, I've been creating uh, some new options for myself. I've built a studio here at home. I've started teaching movement, handstands, and a bit of meditation. Uh, I launched an online course. So I've been building some things uh, and starting to transition into a, a whole new, totally new area for me. Uh, I was a lawyer uh, out of school. I went to university and then straight into law. So this is pretty huge for me. I just turned 40. Uh, so I've probably got, I guess, a few ideas about what's going on. And firstly, I just want to say I feel deeply compassionate for anybody that's having this situation forced upon them or if it feels like that. Um, I really feel for you because it is scary and confronting, um, especially if it wasn't something you had planned on doing. But here we are, and I wanted to show you my banana tree here. I've got some banana plants down here, and um, unfortunately the bats got up there and they took all the fruit off this one, and I've never had that problem in previous seasons. So one morning I came out and all the <laughs> delicious bananas were gone off this plant. And uh, I wanna show you over here this other little plant. Come and have a look here. Let's walk you over and take a look because I'll show you what's really cool about bananas. So take a look at this guy here. Now this was a big tree and I got a lot of fruit off this one as well. And you can see here where I've, I've cut the plant off. And then look what happens in its place. Another plant grows. Now that'll take some time to mature of course into a new plant and it will bear me new fruit. And perhaps this time I can take some precautions and uh, net the fruit so that the bats don't steal it from me, don't get to it uh, before I do, so I can enjoy some delicious bananas. Now, what does this have to do with anything? Uh, maybe you're starting to see the metaphor already, but uh, look, sometimes it feels like when we're this plant over here that's lost its fruit, um, it's starting to, to perish now, it's starting to die. Um, and I guess one could think that, oh no, life's over. Um, it's over for me. But that's not the case, is it? Because I think we're a lot like these bananas. Our roots go deep. And sometimes what we need to do is cut off the old plant and then be patient until the new plant comes up and eventually we will see fruit again. So this of course takes some time, it takes some patience, it takes some fertilizing, uh, but it will happen. So it's not the end of the world. I know a lot of people are quite concerned and I really don't blame them and uh, I feel for them, but um, having gone through this process voluntarily myself for the past 12 months, I can say that while it is scary, it's incredibly rewarding to start creating something new of your own design, of your conscious intention, and the opportunity that you have with this right now is to have a think about what is it I would like to do with myself? What gifts do I have that I can share with the world? What does the world need? 
and find an overlap of these things and you can get creative. And this is a wonderful opportunity to create and design the new life of your dreams. So it's not easy. It's going to take some work and a lot of patience. I'm not going to get fruit off this little tree right away, but it will happen. I've just got to stay patient, keep fertilizing, uh, keep watering and keep cultivating the dream. So keep it alive. Anyway, that is all I want to say right now on this. I might make some more videos on this topic in the future if anybody gets some value out of it. Stay safe out there. Uh, stay positive, And yeah, just keep going, working on those dreams. I'll see you later.